If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the ultimates? Uh, about that, I don't remember. Well, that's because they took away your memory of you getting kidnapped. Huh? You don't remember? I've been trying to remember, but I can't, no matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got there. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Same here! Huh? You know? I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying so hard to remember. What the fuck? Okay, is this Danganronpa 2 again? Are they in a simulation? Or were they... Put in a blender. <clears throat> what happened? No. I'm fine. I just got a headache. That's all. But it can't be coincidence that we both don't remember what happened to us. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. Right? We are confused. We just need to relax, is all. Oh, let's imagine Maurice Ravel's song a time. I don't think he knows that one, Chief. That's... Is that music? I don't really know much about music. I see. I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. Oh, right. But first, let's look for a way out. And if there are other Ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least, one of them has got to know something. Yeah, good idea. Obtain Friendship Fragment! You can leave a room by pressing the circle button or interacting with the door. Even though it's a hallway, there sure are a lot of plants growing around here. And the air here is heavy. Oppressively heavy, as if forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you in anxiety. But this is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? Huh. What's the matter? Uh, I just felt something in the pocket of my uniform when I look uniform. When I looked, Remember. I found this inside. Is this is some kind of mini tablet computer, I think. Oh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavier. The word monopad is written on it. Yeah, that's your, um... That's your, um... Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. That's your handbook. When did we get this in... In the, when did this get into my backpack? My name was displayed when it booted up, like a student handbook, see? I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to them for now. Yeah, agreed. Congratulations! You can now use the monopad! Press the search square button to open the monopad. It got a ton of game information in it. Oh, sweet. I bet you've also n already noticed you can level up by performing actions. When you level up, your skill slots increase so you can equip even more skills. There are a lot of skills, so view them in the report card. If you want skills, make friends. Strafe in your bonds. Be sure to test out all the skills. Also, there's one more important thing to tell you. You can save and load the game from the handbook. Make sure you save all the important stuff. Well then, up to good you go, find your classmates. 
Ooh. I like this new looking version of it. And I got 74 coins because I've been beating up chairs. Okay. Oh wow, we got... Okay, that's me. That's some other kids here. And there's Kokichi Oma, jeez. You filthy cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was... Because I... Because I... Because I was sent... Because Cat, um... Cat, uh, gone and, uh... She sent me, like, these, uh, videos called, like, you Danganronpa in the wrong neighborhood, and it'd be like, you Junkoed in the wrong neighborhood, and there was one called, you Kokichi Omud in the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> and I just remember that. Dress up? Ooh, I can dress up my theme? Nice! That's cool. Oh, but... Record all statements in advance as they unfold into a prevent tablet. Uh, save point. Okay. Option. I can. Okay, I can do that. Um, uh, movement bob. See wherever your view bobs and you move. I'm just trying to see. What can I? Oh, on the main menu. Okay, so good. Got it. Oh, wait, that's the main menu. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh, I can't review the rules yet. Shit. Oh, hey, here we go. Dislikes bicycles. <laughs> okay. She was born in March 26. Likes piano keys, obviously. Okay, her blood type is oh wow, we get to know her blood type. Height 5'8. Oh, 117 pounds. Suichi Sahara, he is born in September 7th. Hey, his birthday is next month. Likes novels. Dislikes gossip. Ah. Not much of a talker then. Um blood type A B. Chest 32 Chest 32. We get to know everyone's chest size, chest 35. <laughs> Even the boys chess. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we get to know a little bit more about what these characters are like with their stuff. Alright, so view of the personal belongings you have on you. Oh yeah, this is the um stuff we need when we uh have to give people gifts. So be sure to destroy as many desks as possible. Whoa, okay, we're moving. We're moving. Oh, where's Suichi at? This is classroom C. I believe classroom B was where we were at. I'm gonna check out classroom C. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's locked. Okay, it looks like I gotta go somewhere else. Okay. Apparently we don't have like a pet to take care of like we could in a... Okay. So we can't do investigation mode when we're outside. Oh, and the map. So we can check our map. Like this. Oh, that's cool. That's actually more useful to use right now than to like... Have. This is big. And I mean like this is big. Ooh, the piano room. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the music room? Oh, you can't go in. Oh, I won't open, but this room does look like it was made for me because it has a piano on it. Oh shit, you bears again. Ah, oh, they're here again. What do you think this place is? 
check out all this fancy schmancy writing. Seems like a place for eggheads. Huh? Isn't this an ultimate research lab? Stupid. What the hell? Why would you tell them? We were trying to make it dramatic. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Huh? Uh, what's an ultimate research lab? Oh, we want you guys to keep on owning your ultimate talent, so we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate penis lab, but we set up labs for the other ultimates too, of course. Most of them are still hidden, though. By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is... Is... Because we're still setting up everything, sorry. We'll hustle to get it all ready. Just wipe... <laughs> That's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say, hold your horses? Mother kid is such a dummy. What are you laughing at? I'll bully you like I bully Mono Dam. Oh, <laughs> I'm guessing you're the one that abused him, asshole. <laughs> he seems like the music room, but I guess it's an ultimate lab. I think it's still a music room when you put your mind to it. Do you think there really are other rooms like this for everyone? I wonder about that too. Is his detective one just gonna be like a Jessica Jones like looking room and there's whiskey under the desk? <laughs> anyway, I thought this was the music room. I really wanted to play the piano. Well, it still is a piano room. They said it was a penis lab. So obviously there is a piano in there for Kaeri. Oh well, I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. Oh, it's a compass too, okay. North, south, whatever, okay. Oh, 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 hi! Well, hello there! A bronze dragon statue! What is this? Oh, I love that fixed camera angle. That was cool. It looks like a dragon statue. But why is there a dragon statue in the school's hallway? I have no idea. Hmm. Maybe it's part of the school's official art collection or something. Still no idea. Hey, you're an ultimate soon, right? Can we talk? Um... Did she not hear me? Okay then. Hey! Hello! <laughs> um... Uh... What? She still can't hear me? Maybe she's really a detailed mannequin. I don't think a mannequin makes noise, Coyote. I don't think that's the case. No, she's just mentally retarded. <laughs> she's slow! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's bad. That was a bad joke. You never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. As I said that, I poked her cheek. I felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. Poking her doesn't work either. Then maybe she is just a doll. What doll has realistic feeling skin? But she looks so real. Try it, Shirichi. Poke, poke. Uh, no thanks. Just do it. It's so fun. As I grabbed his hand to make him poke her out of cheek. I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. Uh, so she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. If you knew that, why did you make me poke her? Because she wasn't responding. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just in deep thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. You were ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? Um, well, it isn't rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to. That is true. 
She's got a point there. Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking now. Now, let's talk. What do you want to start with? My favorite Doraemon episode is fit epi number 53. The one with security cameras and target practice. <laughs> she talked about Doraemon? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say, mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> Let's respond with that. <laughs> I never watched Doraemon, but I am willing to watch it. I just never found the time. It's because I'm. I was watching a bunch of animes. I was trying to focus on Danganronpa, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And Ergo Proxy. I was focusing on those animes more to watch and finish. And I wanted to finish Ergo Proxy because um, I really want to watch Serial Experiments Lane. I don't know what I can fill in for the slot for JoJo, but I'm thinking of going back to Kill la Kill. And I'm gonna try and finish Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I have a lot of anime. I am notorious for not ever watching because I always like I always procrastinate on watching those animes and end up watching a ton of YouTube and that's a bad thing but I digress I am gonna continue watching Alchemist Brotherhood and all the other things but who knows anyway <laughs> let's get to this <laughs> um before you talk about that can you tell us your name oh Oh, you're a cosplayer! That's something we've never seen before. Can we hear that again? Oh, I guess that's not a talk option. Shit. Sumo I wanted to know how to pronounce your name right. Sumugi Shiragane. So you're a cosplayer. Are you surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so plain. Aw, don't hurt yourself like that. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura of- Whoa, Kaede! <laughs> Damn, girl, you- <laughs> You don't have to start like that, but sexy aura! Hmm. I kind of like to see her cosplay. I wonder what she does. I bet it's because you've got people ogling at your curves on a daily basis! <laughs> Kaede was looking at her curves. Kaede was like, she's like, nice ass. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, okay, okay. Damn, Kaede. No chill. Kaede, you sound like a creepy old man. That's it. <laughs> Does she, or is she just complimenting how good her curves are? <laughs> it does sound creepy. I don't think you should start out by a person you just met and say, Hey, you get some, you have a sexy aura about you. Maybe it's because of your nice curves. Girl is thick. <laughs> Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. I just like Mickey cosplay. I'm not fine with others wearing them. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. Really? I know a lot of few cosplayers I follow that are pretty cool, and they like to get into character as that character. But, if, but you know, there's like Lana Rain, uh, Pity Kitty, uh, who else? I can't remember. Hidori Rose is one of them. I'm listening to cam girl ones, but there's cosplayers I remember, but I can't remember a few. I'm trying to remember a lot, but those are the ones that are coming on the top of my head. I follow a lot of cosplayers and artists on Twitter, so I just love to see, like, because pe those people are, like, crazy in the cosplay. Like, especially if Lana. Lana is, goes for the expensive shit a lot of times. Like, she actually does got, like, a huge, like, suit, like, for, like, um, 
for like you know like a zero kind of suit for like the characters from uh Evangelion, like Asuka and Ray. She even's got Mari, but all I see was the. But I haven't seen the Mari suit. All I see was the schoolgirl version of Mari she's done. She even got one of. Since we're on, since we're on Danga and Rampa on the subject, she cosplayed as Ibuki Miyota, and that was awesome. That's how I found Lana, because I was like so. Because when I was. Doing dung when I was playing Danganronpa 2 at the time, I was scrolling down and one of the people I follow retweeted uh, Lana's tweet, and it was a picture of her as a Ibuki, and I was like, "Oh snap, she's cosplay as Ibuki! That's awesome!" And I wanted to follow her because I wanted to know what kind of cosplay she did else because that Ibuki costume was, was fucking amazing. It got the twin drills and shit, and. She got the makeup and oh, and the piercings too. I don't. I think those are like stick-on piercings. Like they're not actually real piercings, but she got the piercing look too, which was awesome. Oh, that was so cool. I loved that. Um, yeah. So I am ranting on cosplayers now, but there's a lot of people with cool cosplays, like a Junko cosplay. Everyone with a cosplay. It was pretty damn good. But <laughs> let's continue the story. We are backtracking. But lately, more cosplayers are playing themselves before their characters. Right. I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love than give them to people like that. Oh, like you want to actually be the character. Like, not just make the cosplay and give it to someone else. You want to be the person that makes the cosplay, put love and detail to it. And also do the character justice by wearing it and acting like that character. That sounds like most cosplayers that make their own cosplay. That sounds like most. Like, there's a lot of amazing cosplays out there that go far and beyond with their cosplays. Like, it's amazing. Some, some buy them, some make them. And it's really damn good. I just love cosplayers. They are amazing at what they do. Wow, you are pretty intense. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. Hell yeah! I, Jessica Negri, that's the one I was trying to think of also. Shit. I'm so stupid. <laughs> um, it makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. Oh, you got sponsors too! You got Patreon and shit? Nice! Oh, well of course the Ultimate Cosplay would have sponsors. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> Why am I interested in this? <laughs> it's like I'm having a full-on conversation with someone who's a cosplayer. This is pathetic of me. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. So, a bunch of guys that like to all go at a cute girl. That's me too, but I honestly like it for the cosplay and how much effort and time they took to make it or prepare themselves to get into it. Because I don't just do it for the girls or the guys. They, um... I just love the cosplays in general and, and get actually impressed how awesome they look. It's just, it's damn impressive. I fucking love it. That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know? Well, online celebrity. Uh, is it alright if I ask you something too? Earlier, you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Oh yeah, we needed to ask her that. Nice job, Shuichi. It's ah, that bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. Oh yeah, we were talking about it. It almost seems like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look pretty out of place? Can I look at it again? Now that I meant now that you mention it, you're right. It sort of bothers me too. This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. And it seems like we're the only people here. Are we going to be okay? 
Are we gonna be able to get out? Um, Coyote, what's wrong? <laughs> that friend look at her on her face was so sexy! <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> she is cute. I do. I can't lie. She is cute. Sugami is looks cute. <laughs> Kaede, you have no chill. We are. We our lives might be in danger, and you are just saying like, you look. You look hot when you are frightened. <laughs> Kaede, I like her already. I love Kaede. Already favorite character, already favorite character, and I'm playing as her, so... <laughs> oh my god, Kaede, chill out, girl. You so crazy. This again? I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. I mean, I will tap back. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. And I can sneak a peek at that ass first later. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> you are pretty optimistic, Kaede. Well, that's a good thing to be optimistic in this kind of situation. Hoping that everything would be fine and hoping that everything would be okay. I mean, you need a good distraction, at least, to keep your mind off of your life being in danger or fretting. Well, people do say, I'm carefree. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Worrying won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better to just be carefree. Yeah. I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. Sumigi, so, I'm gonna put you on the list of people I want to hang out with. Like, you are my list. You are... I'm gonna make a list of characters I want to hang out with in this game. And uh, we are gonna... I'm gonna make a list now of characters we should hang out with in Danganronpa V3. Already, we got you. So... Uh... Hang out... Characters... I want to hang out with Shuichi too because you know since he is with us, I want to make sure I like talk to him more because I like to know him a bit more too. So we got you, Sumi, Sumi, Sumigi. I'm just gonna call you Shuragane. I'm just gonna miss Shuragane. I'm just gonna call you that, Shuragane. Um, yes. So Su, Sumigi. Shirogane. Ah, uh, Shirogane. And I'll just shoot you later. Yeah. yeah, so let's try to find a way out. All right, obtain friendship fragment. Yes, right. You kept weirding her out because you had kept calling her sexy and shit. But I guess she comes to like you. All right, Sumi. Is it floating? I want to check if it's floating. Is it floating? I don't know. What is floaty about it? Let me look at a fire perspective. It doesn't look like it's floating. I think what's out of place about it is it's a fucking school and we don't know. Anyway, hi, Sumigi. It's plain to see the next con is coming out. That's right, what am I gonna do if I don't finish my outfit in time? Ah, uh, what con is it? Is it like a brony con? Well, those are dead already, so no. <laughs> sadly, I really wanted to go to one of those, but... Sadly, we can't do that anymore. Um, hold on. Let me get... Let me get... Uh, Shuichi in the mix. Okay. Uh, let's get Suchi. You know, I have to go to the bathroom anyway, so I'll be right back.
sorry. Oh, there goes the sink. And screw the soap dispensers too. Anything else in here? No, there's nothing. This monitor is way too high-tech to be used in the school. Well, that's... Hmm. Well, there's nothing in here that was of use. So, I guess we're gonna go. Uh, if you want, I could look. What? I'm not that curious about what's in there. Well, this is an unusual building. Anything could be in there. Wait here a minute. If that, Suichi opened the door and walked inside. It was just a normal bathroom. Nothing out of the ordinary. No one was inside. I see. I see. That scared me. Maybe detective, uh, detectives live for those kind of scary situations. I don't know. I mean, they do it to get the job done and they, they haven't come across anything else that scares them anymore. At least to me, I think. But we don't know that. Uh, okay, so where do we go? Should we go here? Oh, it's locked, so... Uh, this is an interesting looking scenery of place. It's so big! Jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, okay. Hi. There was another guy. Okay. Uh, right, let's go and check him. Hi! Hey. Uh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Well, you both look alright. That's good. Situation could be better though. Yeah, totally. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? If you're asking us, then... You don't remember either, do you? Huh. <laughs> You're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything you do, you. I guess that means everyone here's the same. Huh? Everyone? I asked the others too. They all say they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. It's like we all have amnesia or something. Ah, but that's... Not normal. If everyone here has amnesia, well, I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. What? That's not true. Wait, amnesia's a stretch. We were probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Or it could be group hypnosis. Maybe brainwashing. <laughs> in any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. What do you mean? Ah, <sighs> to tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. Oh shit! Is he a reverse? He is he a reserve course student? This <laughs> is run. He could be dangerous. 
So now we are put great now we're put in in the different situation again like with in the first game we were Makoto and he was the lucky student with uh, with with Hajime he didn't remember who he was and Nagito was the lucky student so we were switched to a different perspective of who we are differently now was the different reason he doesn't remember what his talent is so is he a re reserve course student or something else that we don't know Ooh, it's a good mystery what <laughs> I'm in trouble I know it must have been some kind of ultimate or maybe they're just regular students and they're just given false talent memories I just don't remember is that true of course it is, but then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Huh. I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you, but then I forgot, did I? No, you haven't told me your name yet. <laughs> I love his chill voice. Rantoro Mami. <laughs> Dialogue is kind of low. Can we change? Okay, I need to. It's kind of low. We need to. I need to up it a bit. Okay, that's good. I just want it a bit louder so I can hear it. For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem to, sh to be shaken up about it. Is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact I don't remember my talent? What? You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. Anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Stop that! We'll escape soon! Hmm. <laughs> you really think it's gonna be that easy? What do you mean? Eh, nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, alright? I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but... Well, he sounds chill! It's just that... Yeah... I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Obtain friendship fragment. Did we? Did we, though? I'm pretty sure we just saw a dude... That probably is a murderer. I, 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 it's a bit of a stretch, but for some reason, I feel like he's about to kill us. I don't know. It's just a gut feeling. I can feel it in my jellies. I don't know why I said that bullshit. <laughs> Rantaro Omami. Uh, can we talk to you again? Oh. But I would at least like to remember my talent by the time we get out of here. Let's see, we got plenty of time. Oops, sorry, I shouldn't jinx it. Okay. End of the hallway. Oh, wait. Before we go anywhere, I need to check out. Dining hall. Can I go in there? Oh yes, we can! That's not locked! Awesome! A dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. <laughs> ah! Okay, this this mic needs to fucking it's peaking a lot. I need to change it. But this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical school.
fuck. Hiya! Huh? I'm yell I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? Oh, yes. I know that because I watched the movie Lucy. That movie was fucking stupid. Ah, I've heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. I must be prepared for the combat of all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. Spock! I will protect myself with Neo Akido. Akido? Then you are. Oh, yes! I'm Tenko Chabashira. Hiya! The ultimate Akido Master! Oh, I always imagined Akito Masters to be huge burly guys, but you are so cute. C cute? Uh, stop it! I'm not- I'm not cute! My face crinkles when I suck down a shake, and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Um, I see, but I think you are cute, right, Suichi? Uh, oh, uh, right. What's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Fuck? Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? Oh god, we have another Mahiru situation. Only I think this woman has it worse than Mahiru. And I'm not talking about what, what happened to Mahiru because I know Mahiru got... You know sexually assaulted. I don't know her story, but she seems like a bitch. With Mahiru, she seemed like she was nice and she didn't mean no harm. This bitch, I feel like she will harm us. It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any general tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. You're right. That is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. By the way, why is this Neo Akito you mention? Neo Akito is an original form of Akito that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So, your Akito is all self-taught? Seems like that. Okay, my poops are too green. What does this say? This looks like the rules for the dining hall. Dining hall rules. You may eat any food you find in the dining hall. Please take responsibility for all utensils and dishes used and cleaned up after yourself. The dining hall will be locked during night time. Oh. Night time. So it's closed at night? Yes. That's what night time means, Kaede. You okay, Kaede? You seem a bit down about this. Okay, uh... The Terrence door also. This door is blocked by barbed wire. The same goes for the classroom windows. Don't tell me all the exits are blocked. Ah, oh, that's... Okay, this girl... She's the little witch academia girl. I hear she is annoying. But... I'll be the judge of it myself to see if she's an annoying little brat. 
because out of everyone I hated, the the annoying little brat I hated the most was Hiyoko. But I came to accept Hiyoko a bit more now. Just not in the game. In the game, I'll still hate her. But in the anime, she matured a bit. I mean, in her own way. She's still a stubborn brat. She still calls Mikan a, you know, pig barf. But she came to like Mikan a little. So I say that's a bit of like she's not annoying that much anymore. I think she has grown a bit more. Maybe it's because Mahiru was still alive. So yeah, that could be the thing. Because she always loved Mahiru, like it was like she was a big sister to her. Anyway, let's go and see little witch girl. Are you annoying or are you not annoying? Please don't be annoying. Mm. So are we stuck here? Yeah, that's what it looks like. But don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. I'm not scared, it's just a pain. Something like this won't make me panic because I'm a mage. A mage? Hmm, that's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumino. The ultimate mage. I'm sorry, is this girl for real? But I'm officially called the ultimate magician. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. I mean, it makes sense though, since magic doesn't exist. Oh, 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 oh. She believes in magic, okay. Yeah, magic does exist. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Because I am a mage. <laughs> Darling, <laughs> you're just a magician, right? Only on paper. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I am actually a mage. Just a ruse? You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle. Also known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the world's like magic lovers gather. I was the youngest person to ever win their Magician of the Year award. That's pretty cool. It's all a ruse! They're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous over the world for performing tricks. But I'm not a magician, I'm a mage! Nobody believes me! There, there, don't be sad, pumpkin puss. <laughs> well, you could show us your magic, then we would believe you. Oh, that's right! Help us out with your magic! Take us back to when we originally... Magic isn't all powerful, I can only do so much. I see, then what can you do? I could choose the card you picked. Pull out coins and release doves. Oh, so like, um, magic tricks?
Yeah, if I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Thank you, Kayati! I can see why she's annoying. I can see why. Okay. I mean, she's not as annoying as Hiyoko so far. So far. Let's not jinx anything yet. It seems this place has all the facilities you expect, but it's covered in overgrowth. Could that mean this has been abandoned for a long time? Could be. Would you like to leave? Yeah, I think we've seen everything around here that we need to see. Uh, warehouse. Oh, we can go to the warehouse. 